Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that can help with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, or you would like to take my six week long mentorship class, I've been reading to Rose since I've been 14 years old, so I have a lot to teach you guys. So if you're interested, all the information is in the description box below. All right, so what we're going to look at first is we're going to look at your love life, your career and finance, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen with my Scorpio's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's career and finance. For the month of November, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so this is going to be the beginning of November. This is going to be the middle of November. And this is going to be the end of November. Hmm. There's somebody that you've known from before that is thinking about you. Okay, let's uh, let's see how that's gonna play out. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords. Someone wants to speak with you, speak a truth to you. Let's move this over here. So we use this also for the current finance. All right, so what's gonna happen with Scorpio's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's Career and Finance for the month of November. Show my cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so what I see is somebody making some kind of proposal. Okay, so we start out the, the month, you start out the month um, with this trapped kind of energy. Like, I don't know how to get out of this situation. I feel trapped. I feel like my hands are tied. We see that there's something about travel going on here travel, someone's missing you, longing for you, we have the ship card energy, and someone feels like, my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do about this. Okay, let's keep going. What's gonna have my Scorpio's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for Scorpio's career and finance for the month of November. Show me cards I need to see, show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look here. Yeah, someone's desperate to get your attention, Scorpio. Okay, let's keep going. I was gonna have my Scorpio's romantic love life for the month of November. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, what's going on here? You are about to be very happy, sun card energy. There's a positive outcome where this person wants to make you happy. They want some kind of positive uh, uh, outcome around this situation. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's move this, put this here. Okay. What's gonna have my Scorpios? Oh, of course when the cards want to fly, fly down. So let's see what that is that wanted to fall on the floor here. You are going to be amazed about what's about to happen. So let's see if you're meant to see that. We're gonna shuffle that in there. What's gonna have my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Scorpio's Career and Finance for the month of November. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. You are about to get everything that you want here with the Nine of Cups kind of energy. Okay, let's keep going. So there is somebody who wants to invest time in the connection, Seven of Pentacles energy. There's a lot of emotions at play here with the fish card energy. And this person's like, I'm single and available to pursue, or they're being romantic with you, or um, yeah, they're trying to be very helpful. Star card, like this is like the single available, or just doing a lot of romantic gestures, trying to be romantic because they're very emotional about this. Okay, so, Let's keep going. 
there's a star card showing a lot of spiritual signs, a lot of optimism, a lot of hope for your romantic love life. Because this person's trying to get control of this situation, right? They have an issue with wanting control, wanting to uh, pull things forward, pull things ahead. Okay, so let's see what that's about. Looks like you're going to get some clarity and answers here with the Ace of Swords energy. Yeah, you're going to get some answers, something you've been waiting for, some kind of clarity. Because before, you didn't really f understand where you stood with this connection. And so you were waiting for them to kind of give you the clarity and the answers and the understanding. And now it looks like in the month of November, you're going to get that clarity. And for you, it's like, wow, it's a sigh of relief. Because there was things that were hidden. There was concerns about deceptions, lying, sneaky, sly behavior. And now you have crossed that situation and you've overcome those obstacles, barriers. And you're having an honest discussion here. And now this, this uh, situation is more focused. So you're going to fulfill your desires because there's a person who wants to drive things forward and they're really focused on you. And before there was obstacles here. There was barriers, obstacles, maybe even people that were getting in the way of this connection. So let's see what's going on here. So justice talks about just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. A decision is going to be made here by the middle of the month. It looks like you're going to spend some alone time with somebody. Going further, let's see. Because there's some clarity, some confusions. About a spiritual connection. And I really want to dig deep on this and I want to discover more about this situation. Wow, Magician card is saying, you're my ideal partner. You have everything that I need. And I regret this situation about what happened. I really feel bad about this. I just want to find out. I want to gain some kind of knowledge. I want to look beneath the surface here. So that I know I can trust this. To be more than just friends. Because I'm really sad, I'm heartbroken. I've been crying over you, I cry at night. I felt so foolish about this situation. When it came to a fresh start, new opportunity. So it looks like they chose somebody new over you at, at one time. Okay. Or you wanted, you were talking to this person about starting a family or something or blending families together. Okay. You're not sure. You have a lot of uncertainty about this person. But it looks like there is a lot of potential here. And what I heard was, it's smooth sailing from here. So, you're fulfilling your desires. Someone's pushing this forward to overcome obstacles. Because emotionally, they've discovered something about this. And they want, there's a want to trust this potential. Okay, let's keep going. So you got the Seven of Swords. Are you really telling me the truth? Are you hiding something from me? I want to fix and heal this situation. When it comes to this isolation, this separation, single and available to pursue. I really want to make the effort to heal this situation. So at the central theme of this, it's, it's a lack of trust in the situation or it's like wanting to be honest, having an honest conversation. Because it seemed like before there was a lot of hidden things, hidden things going on. 
So it's like, I want to fulfill my desires because I really discovered a lot about this emotionally and I want to heal this situation. I'm going to move things ahead and move things forward. So it looks like you'll have to make a decision, Scorpio, about the main person. When it comes to loyalty, devotion, or friendship. So it looks like they want to be more than just friends, though, because this is the main person saying, I want to be with you. And it's something to do with the past energy. And it's like, I see that there is a, there's a path here and something's coming to light. Okay, let's keep going. Oh my God, the final card is great. Sun card energy. You guys are about to be very happy, sun card. This person wants to have loyalty and devotion to you. You will have to make a decision about it. There is an offer presented, key card energy. Will you say yes? Looks like they also want to take you somewhere because the travel card's right there. It's like they want to take you on some kind of journey. Maybe it's an internal journey because I, I feel like you guys have a spiritual connection or it's a physical journey somewhere, like a vacation somewhere. Because hmm. I, I did feel like they were going to give you some kind of offer or they were going to give some kind of like, do some kind of engagement with you. Like, um, so they want to fulfill a desire here because there's a lot of emotions that needs to be healed. So they're powering through this resistance and trying to regain your trust. And they're showing you that there is a path here and bringing light to it. And we see there is an overcoming of obstacles here in the focus. Now it's a strong focus on the potential. And we see it's a sense of wanting to support each other. Okay, let's move forward here. Yeah, let, should I take a risk? I see the bigger picture. Let's look at the bottom of this deck as well. You're gonna have a hard to conversation. You're cautious. There's some advice. There's a letter, message, document, paperwork about money, finance, and long-term happiness. We see you're gonna gain knowledge and you're gonna have to make a decision very soon. Yeah, you're at a crossroads. Cause it's like, this person's like, you're the wisest decision for me and I have regrets. Okay. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, so. You're about to be very happy. There's a spiritual connection and wanting to make an effort. There's a hopefulness about this friendship or being more than just friends. There was some kind of infringing party or something to do with uh, something from the past and some deceptions that have now caused you a lot of uncertainty in this opportunity. I'm desperate, Scorpio, to spend some time with you and to heal this situation. I'm here for you. I'm single and available to pursue and I regret this situation. I want to be with you and I... I just want to have a sigh of relief. I was foolish about the situation and I want loyalty and devotion. So they want to be loyal to just you. And it looks like it was a, like a friend. This dog car keeps coming out a lot. So this is a friend. Someone that sees you as a friend. Someone was a friend. Okay. We see there's... Uh -oh, did I get the Lenormand caught up in there? I'll have to find that in a minute. Okay. Ship card says there's traveling going on because of a sense of confusion to get you alone. And it looks like emotions are going to be at play and you're going to gain some kind of knowledge about this friendship. And we see when it comes to this clarity or fresh start, new opportunity, you're at a crossroads. Okay, moving the 
this out of the way. My hands are tied and I need to make a decision. I want to be honest with you. I want to invest time in this connection. You are my ideal partner and I just need you to make a choice. And you find out about the clarity and the answers. You get answers about the heartache and sadness. And you are very happy, sun card energy. You feel like there's success, there's happiness. You're completely happy about this because you finally got the clarity. And at the central theme, the magician talks about manifestation. You've manifested this. Or this person just sees you as someone who is, just has the whole full package, Scorpio. Right? We see this trapped energy because of lying and deceptions and happiness about the clarity. Waiting around here for this decision. So they're going to wait around for this decision because of heartache and sadness. Or even because they're concerned they're going to lose you to another third party. Okay, so let's keep going here, Scorpio. Let's take a look at it in your advice. So for Scorpio's highest, best good, for the best possible option for them, when it comes to a romantic love life, what should they do? Show me the cards you need to see for the month of November. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. The romance angels are helping you. It's saying you're going to be on the right path there. You're on the right path. Have confidence. Defend your position. You can find, you created the situation and you have the ability to change it. Prayers will help with the situation. Believe and trust. If you feel like it's an unhealthy situation, it's time to leave an unhealthy situation. It says, ask for Archangel Michael to assist you with the situation. Because the situation is already resolved. Okay, so you're on the right path. There was something that was created here that can be fixed. And I feel like what it's saying is stepping away from unhealthy things that don't serve you anymore. It says, have confidence in this. You're on the right path. That prayers can help with the situation. Defend your position and believe and trust in this. That the situation is already resolved. So that's the manifestation technique, technically. So you're already trusting that, yes, it's all going to be positive. It's all, it's all going to work out. And it's in the now. You already have it in the now. It's already where it needs to be. And you're let go, letting go of fear and unresolved pain and hurt because that doesn't serve you anymore. This was all part of your life purpose. You can decide to be happy now, Scorpio. There's love here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's, um, let's move into your current finance. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? So you guys are getting recognition. You're getting attention with the Six of Wands energy. You guys are a little bit um, cautious, defensive here because things seem to be taking a little bit longer than you'd like, but you are moving in a direction of, um, of a serious established situation with the Knight of Pentacles energy. So you guys are getting recognition, fame. Okay, people are noticing you. You're going after what you want. And there are people that are, are there to say, hey, Scorpio, I really want you to come on my team. I really want you to be a part of this project. And there's some things that are happening that you've been waiting for. Let's go further on this. You are in the beginning of the month. It's going to be a thriving energy. And we see there's a friend here that wants to bring something to light to you. So let's keep going. Show my Scorpio's career and finance for the month of November. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, happy energy is coming in for you guys. You are going to gain your confidence here. Because you're going towards things that you really love. Middle of the month. Good news coming in. Page of Pentacles energy. There is something about ending, stopping, or just taking a break. You guys work a lot, so <laughs> you overwork yourselves. Um, there is success here. Because you've attracted a lot to you. You are like the Queen of Wands energy. Looks like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It looks like a truth. Looks like some kind of politics uh, with the King of Swords energy around dealing with a loss of an ending. Okay, let's keep going. Yep, a truth will be spoken. 
you will gain the courage, strength, or confidence to do it. So because you're attracting a lot of opportunities, it gives you the confidence. Okay, let's see here. So it looks like by the middle of the month, you guys are bringing things into balance. You are fixing things and you're getting good news. You see that this truth about a lot of changes. So you're gonna go through a lot of changes here by the middle of the month. Okay, so the beginning of the month, there's a happy energy here. You're going for things that you love. There's a lot of confidence here. And like the Queen of Wands, you've attracted a lot of opportunities, which regains your confidence. And there's a lot of transitions happening here by the end of the middle of the month. So let's see what's gonna happen at the end of the month here. Nine of Pentacles looks like you're gonna do, you're gonna have more than enough money or have a sense of independence. There's a surprise coming in for you guys. Because you have overcome obstacles, you had the courage to do it and you're fixing a situation with your wellness. You're receiving some kind of money, Six of Pentacles energy, because of the attention you're getting. And it looks like you can take a break, sit back and relax, because you got opportunities coming in. You are gonna end a tough cycle by the end of the month. Wow, okay, you're gonna end a tough cycle by the end of the month when it comes to things that you had to deal with, regrets, because you have blessings coming in. Get excited. <laughs> That's very enthusiastic for the end of the month. There's a party going on here. Okay. So happiness, you're attracting a lot to you, a lot of opportunities, offers, and there's a sense of wellness here. You are regaining your confidence and you're, you're, t you're, you're gaining your, you, you, you're taking that confidence and you're using that courage to go towards opportunities that you love. And because of that, a lot is gonna change for you guys. Um, it's gonna transition change and you're, it's a lot of excitement coming up for the month of November for you guys by the end. Okay. So going further here. You're thriving in your success. You overcome obstacles because you have the courage to speak a truth and be pure in your intentions. You're going to be able to take a break. There's going to th be a lot of things going to come to light for you and uh, blessings are coming in. You see, you're going after what you want and you're ending a situation and you're surprised about this person who's like, hey, come on my team, you know, be on my project. And because of this concern of loss, you are getting some attention, people are noticing you and there's some those opportunities that are coming in that you've been waiting for. You're getting good news around things that you had regrets about. Because there's gonna be an ending of loss in the middle of the month, by the middle of the month. So you get recognition, you're cautious here because things are taking a little bit longer, but you do receive good news. And the truth of the matter is things are being healed and fixed and brought into balance. You're moving into a sense of independence and having more than enough money and you're receiving money, which is helping you to end a tough cycle. You have this house, this home, a sense of stability. A Ten of Pentacles is coming in, talking about abundance, long-term family, and hopefulness about potential opportunities offers. Looks like there could be a partnership or a collaboration there. We see a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Things are going to go in your favor. Judgment. All right, Scorpio, let's get some advice to you guys, okay? Let's get some advice. Can I have some advice for my Scorpios when it comes to the Korean finance for the highest, best good, for the best possible offer for them for the month of November? What should they do for their highest, best good when it comes to Korean finance? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. See. All right, let's see here. You have the power to banish negative energy and unwanted problems. So you have all the power here. You wield the power and you can do something about it if you choose to. 
is saying nourish your inner child and have a sense of innocence and joy. So it's saying take care of yourself, okay? Don't overwork yourself. And get excited about your life. Life is always bright when you wake up each day with a spirit of enthusiasm. Sorry, I'm like talking slow because the words on the, the card are so small. <laughs> it's like, and this lighting here doesn't really help. But anyway, it's time for you to regain your confidence and to follow your dreams when it comes to this opportunity that's coming to present itself. Put your energy behind this and you will have the courage, strength, and confidence to follow your heart. Give yourself some time, give yourself a break. You have manifested this and you're very inspiring. Keep yourself balanced and you'll be able to go for what you want when it comes to your imagination, your creativity. Yeah, you have a lot of wisdom, Scorpio. You are an old soul. Scorpios are old souls. Okay, uh, because Scorpios, that's the eighth house. It has to, you know, you're, you're, some of the things you have to deal with your life is dealing with a lot of transformational change and, and resolving a lot of fear that's beneath the surface, right? Because that's the eighth house. All right, hidden things, hidden fears. All right, so what does Scorpio need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that can help them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. See the bigger picture. Look at the higher perspective. Practice gratitude. I know that there are times in our lives that we only can see the negative, but we always have something to be happy and blessed about. Stay in that place of gratitude. Push through your insecurities. Breathe through the tension, Scorpio. Be proud of yourself. You have accomplished a lot. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong because forgiveness can release emotional blockages. Scorpio, shine. It's your time to shine. And relax. It's gonna be okay. You can now take actions that are inspired. Trust that all will be well. All right, my beautiful Scorpios. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You guys know I love to read my comments. So if this resonates with you, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in another date or two. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, or you would like to take my six week long mentorship class, um, I've been reading Tarot since I've been 14 years old, so I have a lot to teach you guys. So if you're interested, all the information is in the description box below, or you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days. You know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, and I will see you guys soon.